do like Running Out, which is the opening song. Um, and it did have a longer chorus when, when we wrote it. Um, and it, it kind of went, and I think that I'm running out of patience. And we just took the end off. Um, Cause it just sounded like uh, more hip, like that. It's quite dark, the melody, I think. And it was kind of influenced by Tiga. Mm. And some people have said it's quite Depeche Mode modish, which I hadn't really thought of, but it does sound a bit like that. Mm. I really love Slow Release. I was the same, it's kind of quite a repetitive chorus, but there's one point in the, in the middle eight of the song when there's a, there's a really high note and it lasts till the end of the song and I just and I just did that, it just came out and lasted without a breath and I was going like, God. Um, and I just really love the um, sentiment of the song, you know, and with uh, about how hard it is living with somebody. Well, the idea with, of working with Perry Farrell and from Jane's Addiction was he really loves electronic music as well. Oh, he, he? Yeah, and so I think he just wanted to try something that was different for him, yeah. you know. And it was it was really great being in the studio with him because um, he's quite dramatic as well in, in his own way. And um, I saw the video for Dog Star Girl. I think that was on his own, and um, and I just feel you, you always you kind of feel like you have an affinity with some people. I'd heard that Perry came to see me at, uh, when I did True Colours solo, um, which was for a human rights uh, coalition before Obama was um, elected in the US with Cindy Lauper and Debbie Harry and B-52s and lots of other bands. And we went for dinner and, and his wife was the most stunning woman that I've ever seen in my whole life you know I was like wow I think it was I think it was for her really I think she was the she was the instigator I think yeah. DHDQ um, was uh, is a song called Debbie Harry Drag Queen which is a bit of a mouthful and I was a bit nervous of the song because I didn't want people to think I was calling Debbie Harry a drag queen because she's not you know and I but to me she's the queen of the drag queens so and she's better than anybody else so really it's a song to her and we did we did ask her if she wanted to sing on it but she she didn't even say anything so i kind of took it as a no <laughs> but um yeah dhdq is just like um that's what they have that's what boys have written on their pants instead of the name so i thought it'd be quite good <laughs> say what you want that is that's one of my really favorites because i love the I just love the melody on the verse because it's um, uh, it's quite unusual, I think, and I just love the clipness of it. And then the chorus is just is just say what you want, get it all out in the open, which I'm hopeless at doing. You know, once um, I mean, usually I'm quite good at being honest and stuff and expressing my feelings, but once I feel a bit, little bit oppressed, I can't. I just clam up. That's what it's about. <laughs> Will You Be There is really just, um, it's like an Ibiza hands in the air song. Yeah, that just had this kind of um, uh, an underlying uh, vocal melody, that's just like a hum, went mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and it reminded me of, um, of a song called Black and Gold by Sam Sparrow, is it? Um, yeah, so it's a, bit, it's a bit sort of like a trendy kind of funky, dance tune really. Mm. Um, subject object was um, something that I think that Lady Tron might have written or Claudia Brooken might have sang words words wise you know. Um, um, I didn't really think very much I think it's quite queeny the song and it's like it sounds like a couple of people sitting down and picking people off in the bar and saying what they think about those, those people um, and I just like the, th like the chorus or oh, you could be my favourite subject you could be my favourite object because it's kind of making them both I love um, touch um, it's kind of it's quite angry and quite sort of punkish song um, and um, it's really um, just about um, not not being able to get a break, really, like in the mu in the music now, you know, because you kind of get um, 
tagged as being an 80s band, mm. even though we didn't even have a hit until 1989, mm. you know. And so people just seem to have this idea about of who you are and stuff, which I think is nonsense, mm. you know. They don't seem to be very um, um, open-minded about music anymore, you know, and the playlists have, have just become more and more narrow. And, and they only play all the kind of celebrity-driven acts, you know, the, from Pop Idol and if you've been on Dancing on Ice and all these programmes, you know, and, and I just feel like if I wanted to be a TV presenter, I, I, I would have been one, 